Hi, in this video I will demonstrate the Soxlet extraction of capsaicinoids from spicy peppers. First you will need a baking tray, Pyrex glass containers, a cutting board, a sharp knife, and peppers. Start by chopping up the peppers and separating the seeds from the peppers, saving the seeds. These seeds contain more capsaicinoids than the pepper flesh. Chop the peppers up, place them into a Pyrex container, then place them in the oven to dry on low. Once your peppers are dry, you will need 95% ethanol, a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, a mortar and pestle, your dried seeds and pepper flesh, a Soxlet extractor, adapter, and cotton balls, a hot plate with water bath, a 250 milliliter round bottom flask, and a condenser. Grind the seeds and the flesh up separately. Wear a dust mask if you have one. The increased surface area will speed up extraction. Take a cotton ball and stuff it down to the bottom of the Soxlet extractor. Add boiling chips and 100 milliliters 95% ethanol to the flask, then fit the extractor. Add your seeds and pepper flesh, packing down as necessary. Add another cotton ball to the top and pack down. Note that you must pack the peppers down so that they are not above the siphon sidearm, otherwise they will not have compounds extracted as efficiently. Fit your adapter and condenser, adding cat clips as necessary. Raise your heating bath and add water. Begin heating. Use a heating mantle if you have one. This is a time-lapse shot over approximately 5 minutes. As the ethanol boils, ethanol vapors travel up the sidearm on the far right to the condenser above, where the solvent condenses and drips down into the sample cup. Once the sample cup fills with solvent and reaches the top of the siphon sidearm, most of the solvent will be siphoned back down into the flask below. This process repeats, and as fresh clean solvent vapors condense into the sample cup, the extraction continues. Each subsequent extraction continues to use fresh ethanol, increasing efficiency, but the total process uses only 100 milliliters of ethanol. Soxlet extraction can be boring, but do not leave it unattended, and make sure the heating bath does not run dry. Now here is a shot of another cycle draining. The extraction continues, and eventually you get a much darker colored solution. After vacuum distillation and overnight settling, you will obtain a dark red slash brown oil. You can try and pipette off the top layer which contains ethanol and plant matter, but the rest of the vial is already dirty. The easy method is to place a pipette at the bottom of the vial and remove the oil layer. In the Eppendorf tube is the original dilute extract, and in the vial is the concentrate. To sample the taste, take one drop of the oil and nine drops of distilled water or 5% sucrose and mix well. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe, and comment.